Welcome back guys to another absolute banger of a video. Uh, three or, yeah, four orders going out, three on eBay, one on Vinted. Before we start quickly, I want to thank everyone who's reached out to me uh, regarding the Christmas box that we're setting up. That will be a video as well to show you that I'm actually sending them off. A lot of people are commenting, oh, I love free toys and stuff like that. You're an absolute donkey. But yeah, uh, on another note, went out last night to film... Uh, second channel video which will be live saturday at 10 o'clock and uh, somebody seriously hurt themselves so <laughs> it is what it is it might have been me it might have been does it might have been ben there's anyone way to find out who's hurt themselves and that's tune in at 10 p.m saturday the goat's life make sure you do it but yeah without any further ado let's get into what we need to get into first sale on ebay 20 pounds to a subscriber shout out to you i love you to bits this is up for 29.95 you said what's the lowest i said for you subscriber i'll knock a tenner off so it'll be 20 quid and you bought it straight away how am i going to package this quite easily i'll just take it all apart hopefully that's that one I need to get up and get the rest let's go get up from aldi that woman returned well she didn't return it she just never picked it up from the impost locker so it got sent back to me um so i had to obviously refund her the 15 quid listed it sold again 15 quid same day Little, uh, little town, sorry, mad stuff. That was the vintage sale. That's an eBay sale. What else is eBay? If you want to come on down here, eBay, there is somewhere, yes, if we move this Matty Boy, which was actually sold to Matty Boy, but he never heard it back, so I don't know if he wants it still. What do we have? Sold this Sony DVD player. We paid up, we paid a tenner for it in the charity shop. I only paid a tenner because I knew how much it was worth. Uh, 25 quid it sold for. Quick sales. Oh, we finally got around to selling vintage discs. Play at these things. These are up for $29.99 for a long time. Selling offers out of 25, no one took it. So I sent an offer out of 20, someone responded with 18. It cost me, it cost me two quid. Probably should have held out. They're actually probably worth a lot of money, but 18 quid will do. So without any further bollocks, let's get wrapping this. Um, I have a bag here so that I can just go straight in. The digital impost label, which is the best one. If anyone ever buys anything from me and they can use a digital impost label, I'd appreciate it a lot more. So they don't have to mess about printing labels off, but it is what it is. Buy it however you like, whatever means necessary. I've got tape stuck to my hand. But yeah, last night's video. Whew. For the goat's life. I've literally... As soon as we got out of the car, somebody hurt themselves within seconds. Painful, yep. Life changing. Could have been. Let me get this tape off. One done. But yeah, somebody hurt themselves. Silly, silly boy. Silly boy. So make sure you watch that. It's quite a painful one. If you don't like blood and gore, though, I won't watch it. Done. I don't know what the plan is today, as in, like, I'm trying to do something to film a video, obviously go to charity shops or do something like that, but everything's just dead around my end at the minute. Face the marketplace as well. Still going to have to hit some chazzers, and I? Have a look, because I need something to list tonight. I did think about doing a whatnot tonight. Um, it's Friday night, I've got loads of things that could go on there. But it's just too much like hard work. Right, so just finished at the impost locker. The plan is, uh, take a couple of quid out. I'm going to go up to Ashby, the main, main charity shops I usually do. I haven't been there for a couple of days, so hopefully we can get some little bits. Uh, get home and start listing. It's Friday, I need to make some more sales. And then hopefully, if the weather stays okay, which at the minute it doesn't look very good, we might actually get a car boot sale on this channel for the first time in 10 years. So yeah, stay tuned, let's go. What am I hoping for? Now I'm at the charity shops, I'm hoping for easy money, like always, but I'd like a camera, right? It's been a long time at a car boot or a charity shop that I haven't picked up a camera. If anyone wants any decent cameras for Christmas, by the way, get on my eBay page. 
Some nice ones on there. Them two Canon ones I got from the auction are still sat there. I had them up for 150, they're both for 100 quid now. Bargain. Do, 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 do. What we got down here? Sold him about a week ago for a fiver. That's 15 to 20 quid plush there. Great start. Great start. Nothing on there. Let's hope we're getting it for a quid. Yeah, well, that looks crap. Right, we're getting this. Two of baby. I swear that is the guy from JLS. Nineteen ninety nine. What is that? T-shirt. We found a bag. We've got a bag full. Spent about a tenner, I think, in that one. And there's an alarm going off somewhere. I hope it's not my car. I don't think it is. I don't know what it is, but we picked up a, a bag full of bits. It's so worth about 20 quid, but it's got a nick on top. It's not even the right top for it. It's worth about 15 quid. Spot on the prices now. Some Reeboks, how much are the Reeboks? How much? 650. Riker. It's a good brand, Riker, isn't it? Four quid. Oh, there's the body sketches. Damn it, I've never seen them before. Spider-Man before. Quid. It's worth about a tenner. I'm going to take it in a look. I might know somebody who wants this. So there's one more charity shop to go, which I've got to drive to just down the bottom end of near the church. But that Cyborg Spider-Man from 1996. I might know somebody who will want this. But if not, that can be like 10 to 15 quid toy. If you push it, I suppose it's Christmas. Collectors are out there. No really damage to it. There's a little line on his face, but I think that's supposed to be like that. Yeah, for a quid, you're always gonna risk it for a quid, aren't you? Find of the day still <clears throat> has to be so far this. It's like 25 quid plus for a quid. 
we got some other bits, but we'll run through them when we get home. We're gonna go hit this last charity shop and then maybe get like one of them uh, hog roast stuffing sandwiches because I'm starving. Then again, I'm always starving. St. Paul's Cathedral with Mrs. Paul. Right, come on. Let's go hit this charity shop. Private parking. For hall and church users only. I'm not going to any of them. Get a ticket, get a ticket. That's a nice one, isn't it? But, come on then. Last charity shop, here we go. Oh, if you're wondering why he's put my part to the church uh, when it says hall and church users only, it's because um, I get celebrity discount now. Imagine celebrity discount now. Jesus. Last time I was in here a couple of days ago, I got that scooter, didn't I? Actually, quite a good scooter as well. It's a good one. Well, I spent a quid in there and then four quid on the meal deal. Absolutely banging. Hot pork with stuffy gravy on a bread bun with a chocolate concrete for pudding and a drink for four quid. So yeah, the teddy were 50p and I found the Lightning McQueen frisbee and little man at the minute likes to throw toys at people so I'm not throwing frisbee at people. Right, let's get home and for what we got, eat a sandwich and then start hopefully in the next couple of days building that box up for the children's hospital and the other people who need one. And then when it's done, I'll start contacting everybody to get you some toys sent. Also, another thing that happened yesterday, at the range, they had so many boxes, so I just took them all. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason I do everything I do for this fire rock and that dog. Oh, destroying the house, as usual. Right, back home, let's run through what we picked up in a bit more detail. So first up, we picked up this Despicable Me 3. 50p that was, it was a classic movie. It's a goat, minions are quite big still, aren't they? So for a quid, I ain't searched it up. I'm gonna recommend 10 to 15 quid. Oh no, my luck, just in a plush box for the next 10 years. Still find it a day. Quid for Hetty the Hoover. Surprise that's like 20 25 quid plush. That's the reason we yeah, pick this shit up. Then, in a charity shop bundle, I got. So I'll pick up, see, I think picked up. I got this old box from. Let's see back Lego from. 1989. Inside it. I've been through it already, but there's some old Lego. I didn't realise there's a geezer in there. There's a geezer in it. So I missed all this old Lego. Oh, there's another geezer. Another. So there might actually be a lot of geezer some little trucks. But yeah, there's like a Viking horse thing. Well worth a five of it. And that's like both sides of it, like they both slide out. So I ain't even looked in the other side yet. If you know what I mean. some people in there, I'm not sure, but. Oh, for God's sake. Worth some pennies that. That was a fiver. A couple of quid each on the shoes. Again, why I'm buying shoes, I don't know they don't sell for me. A pair of vans black, size five, two quid. The only reason I pick these up is because they look immaculate. The AstroTurf Puma size 11, I think. Uh, a quid for a sealed DVD. I had my good old mate John Wayne Let's see if I'll be on the video if he sees this. Sealed, about a fiver. And then a weird find, a cyborg Spider-Man from, what year was it from again? 1996, nearly as old as me. That's nearly, what, 28 year old? Happy days. And that is literally, and we've got a frisbee, but little man's been flinging it around. The other day as well, off camera, because obviously I wasn't filming yesterday, because I did a pre-recorded video, I picked up this for free. Two Funko sleeves, if anyone is interested. And I paid two quid for a. Oh, Raggy. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Pushy thing. Two quid, probably about a tenner. But yeah, on that note, I'm going to get some listings done. See if I can make some quick sales while this video ends. 
Right, so I've been through this Lego box. I found this skateboard. I found these little figures here with a little dragon and a tree that I think is actually worth something. The rest of it's no good. It's just Lego bricks. So I'm going to take them all out, sell this vintage storage box separate, hopefully. Sell them and then put all the Lego bits that are in there into a whatnot stream, I believe. But on that note, we need to get ourselves down to Tesco's. I think she's going to Tesco's. We're going to have a look and maybe hit another charity shop up with our man. No one way to find out. Let's go. Half price on all these toys, but I'm going to scan them. Nothing's coming up. So this is 20 quid worth 30 quid. Master of Pieces, you paid the other day on your thing, like 25 quid for one of these for the new movie in Tesco's at the minute. You know, £12.50 sells for about 16 quid now on eBay, so not worth my time. Quick little look in Aldi, see if any more of them wooden toys. And I've heard there's a bluey sale on. £16.99. One sold for £29.99 in August, but yeah, not worth it now. Right, I'm back in the shed uh, after listing everything. And we have made two more sales of stuff we've already picked up today. I forgot about I had these that I paid a tenner for the other day. So I lifted them as well. They can go there. I've emptied the leg out of there like I said I would. Listed that. Sold on it like 19.99, so I listed it for 16.95 plus the shipping, so it's 20 quid all in if anyone wants that. That can go up there. That dog listed on Vinted. You can go up there. eBay, eBay. That's only worth like five quid, which is a bit sh surprising when that one's worth 25. But you must take what comes your way. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I was gonna say, we've got two more sales now. Also, I've got a whole tub of old vintage Lego there. That I'll probably be running on a whatnot stream because it's no good to me, unless somebody else wants to buy it for them. Uh, I took them figures out. Uh, and Spider-Man, Spider-Man sold to Rob, so shout out to Rob uh, for eight quid, all in. It really cost me a pound, I only picked it up because I knew he'd want it. So I'll probably make like three quid on that profit, happy days. And then these little mini Lego people was out of that big container that cost me a fiver and they sold on vintage straight away for eight pound. I put them up for a tenner, someone offered eight, take them, happy days. Uh, listed the shoes, obviously on vintage. I'm going to leave it a couple more weeks and I don't know if you can see it from your angle but leave it a couple more weeks and if all them shoes there haven't sold I'm running them on whatnot same as the plushes so if you want to get some cheap shoes and plushes get them now before they go on whatnot or wait till they go on whatnot use my code get a free 10 quid and you're laughing all the way to the bank and then I've also listed the old John Wayne. So John Wayne who comments on my videos, buy this. This is for you, son. But on that note, boys and girls, we've got to set the salvage room here. I am going to be... Way up, psychopath. Some trapped in my Ikea bag. I am going to be a bit busier, uh, content-wise, than usual soon, where every Thursday we're going to be filming for the second channel absolute banging video and somebody really hurt themselves was it me could have been was it someone else could have been was it someone else could have been you never know a lot of people think it's me already and you could you could be spot on i could have a scar all the way down there do you know what i mean but the only way to find out is 10 p.m tomorrow night saturday the i want to say the 27th no saturday the 26th at 10 p.m over at the goat's life same as the movie same spelling as the movie the goat's life i think we've hit like 320 subs at the minute so we're not far away from that thousand and once we do there'll be some cash giveaways so you want to stay tuned for that but other than that guys i want you to make sure you're there make sure you're square make sure you leave a like subscribe if you're new and me and this shit all of a shed hopefully see you tomorrow at a car boot sale oh shit what's made of Peace! Get it.
Jackson.